Hey, Alex Army, and welcome back to the final part of this free bratting masterclass. If you've missed any part of this series, all of the links are in this video's description below, so be sure to check them out. But today we're wrapping up this series with my powerful and practical three point brat taming system. But before we jump into the brat taming waters today, let's quickly review a few important reminders from the last video. If we're thinking of brat handling and brat taming like a tennis match, brat handling would be to volley back with the bratty subtype in this mutually pleasing game. And brat taming would be to set down the net and walk off the court. In other words, brat handling is about indulging the behavior and brat taming is about shutting it down. But they both reach the ultimate desired result of an increased power gap. The brat handler widens the power gap the submissive craves by indulging their desire to banter, challenge, or playfully push back. And the brat tamer widens the power gap by hitting the submissive's actual pain point and withholding dominant engagement or play. And finally, as the dominant, it's your responsibility to set the standard and clearly define the terms between acceptable and playful attitudes and actions versus those you find controlling, disrespectful, or toxic to your dynamic as a whole. Now in part four, we covered how to handle the brat and play their erotic game. But how do we engage as a brat tamer and ultimately widen that power gap that the submissive craves? Well, I believe the first move here is to restate and reinforce the boundary. All right, instead of volleying back, engaging back, we are restating and reinforcing the boundary. Now, this is not necessarily to remind the submissive, although it has that merit, but restating and reinforcing the boundary is acknowledging that there's a game afoot and that you do not wish to play. This is essentially the act of setting down the tennis racket and walking off the theoretical court. All right, the submissive may want to play this game, but if they continue, they'll be playing solitaire, okay? It's also important, Dominance, that you do not, and this is a tricky one, do not externally acknowledge any continued or new bratty attitudes or actions until you're ready to shut it down completely. And yes, we're gonna break it down, okay? Because have you ever heard the adage, negative attention is still attention? All right, if you stay on the court and volley back with the submissive in their little game, you're giving attention to the game and subsequently encouraging the game. You picking up what I'm throwing down? So the final move here when it comes to brat taming is to drastically increase the desired power gap by speaking to the submissive's true pain point and not engaging in play or punishment. And do you remember the story I introduced in part four about one of my patrons and her husband? All right, they recently started their DS dynamic. It's been going super well. One night he asked the submissive to clean the kitchen, but she's feeling super secure and happy and playful in her dynamic because things have been going so well. So she's feeling all these good things. She decides to brat by cleaning literally half of the kitchen, every other dish, every other floor tile, only half of the sink, only half of the counters. Okay, you get the picture. Now, last week I illustrated possible scenarios as to how you could handle the bratty behavior. But in this example, the dominant instead decided to tame it and he did so brilliantly. Okay, so my patron shared that he took her to their bedroom. Oh, it's working. He got out the cuffs. Oh, it's working. Secured her to the bed. Acted like he was about to punish her. She's blissed out. She's super happy. Her plan worked. She's thrilled. Until he says, half-ass chores get half-ass punishments and walks out of the room to go play a video game. Leaves her there. So she's just listening to him playing the game. 
beautiful, epic. This is a brilliant and hilarious example of very effective brat taming. So let's break down what happened here. Now in the portion of the story I heard, I didn't get the understanding that he restated and reinforced the boundary, but a boundary was not necessarily crossed here because the source of the bratting was playful and respectful, not a dishonoring violation. And in that case, restating and reinforcing can still be applicable, but only if done in an equally erotic way. Right? We're not restating the boundary because we're indicating that the line was crossed. We're restating the boundary as part of our erotic volleying. Okay? So for instance, the dominant could walk into the kitchen, see this bratting taking place, command the sub's attention, get them to kneel, pull their chin up, and ask them, did I tell you to clean the whole kitchen or half of the kitchen pet? Or are you having trouble remembering your assignments today, little one? Or even, I see what you're trying to do here and it's not going to work. You're restating and reinforcing the standard, the boundary, but in an erotic way rather than a serious or corrective manner, as in the case of deliberate disrespect or a boundary violation. Does that make sense? So essentially dominance, the message you want to send when brat taming is very simple, but very powerful. Remember this one liner, the message you want to send this one liner is your behavior is displeasing and it will cost you what you want most. Ooh, ooh. again, your behavior is displeasing and it will cost you what you want the most. Now contrast this with brat handling, which essentially communicates your behavior is stimulating and I'm willing to engage. Do you see the contrast here? And what does the submissive want the most? Again, the increased power gap and that increased power gap directly elevates or intensifies the level of submissive arousal. Because remember, regardless of the motivation or method of bratting, this is what the submissive is ultimately after. Therefore, the ultimate punishment, the ultimate way to hit their pain point and stabilize the power dynamic is to withhold domination or play. Now notice I did not say to withhold love. I did not say to withhold care. I did not say to withhold affection, attention, or engagement. I did not say any of those things. This is not about relational sabotage. This is not about any form of neglect or abandonment. This is about making it clear that play is a privilege and domination should not be demanded. That's really what we're trying to show here. Play is a privilege. You're not entitled to it. My domination is a gift. It cannot and should not be demanded. But I know when you're in it, when all of this stuff is going on in your dynamic, it can be very confusing and challenging and overwhelming, exhausting to figure out what's going on, why, and how to handle it. All right. So that's exactly why I've created my new brat taming bundle over on Patreon. And this bundle includes three epic new resources that I've created just for you. If you're going through this situation, my bratting decision tree, which has 45 decision points and 15 possible outcomes to guide you through the many nuances happening in your dynamic and what to do about it. My bratting methodology chart, which illustrates the goal, motive, methods, results, and practical examples of the six main types of bratting expressions we've discussed in this series, as well as my bratting boundaries worksheet for dominance that will help you set the right standard, effectively determine why your subtype is acting out and what you can do to effectively navigate the situation and get your dynamic back on track. Just go over to patreon.com slash Alex Erotica to get instant access to this incredible resource. So Alex Army, thanks so much for tuning in today and I hope you found this content helpful. If so, be sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and share this content with a friend who could benefit from this wisdom. 
and make sure you have those notifications turned on so you won't miss my brand new series that we're starting next week. Thank you.